If you passed by this site recently, you may have noticed the new nursing home is going up pretty quickly. But have you wondered what's inside those blue containers? Well, today we're going to go have a look and find out. The ones behind me are the last ones that are going to go up. We head to the third floor where they've arranged to show us inside one of the containers. The area around this will then be used for other elements of the build, such as kitchen facilities, clinics and visitor rooms. This space just outside the bedroom we looked at is going to be turned into a dining area using more traditional methods of construction. Though it does look very much like a shipping container on the outside, it is practically a finished bedroom inside. We're at the Rook site today and there's been a lot of talk about this new construction method bringing over these 200 containers from China and slotting them into place to create this new home. Uh, so we're inside one of those containers right now. As you can see it pretty much looks like a finished bedroom. It comes with a bed frame, some storage space, a mattress will have to be added over there and uh, the only thing it's missing is electricity and water. So once all these blocks are slotted into place that will then be added. You can see there's a TV over here and some more storage place and quite incredibly everything you see was already here in this container before it arrived in Gibraltar. So there's also a balcony, this is about four or five square meters, the bedroom is about 20 to 25 and uh, once the panel in front of me is removed this will open up to some views of Gibraltar. The final build will be 10 stories tall. The process has been extremely systematic so far as they slot each piece in like a Lego block. But that first stage of work is expected to conclude today. We're on the ninth floor of the new nursing home. Now all the modular units are actually going to be slotted in today, which means that all those containers shipped over from China will now be put in place and they can start working on the surrounding areas, the cladding, the finishing and all of those extras. They've told us that they're going to try and make it fit in with the rest of the area so it will have similar tones to some of the buildings around us and as you can see it will have some great views too.